You could come to market pretty much at any time. It doesn't feel like there's any time pressures here. So why now? Well, first of all, good morning, Karen and, and Steve, and uh, great to be here. Well, I think it's uh, an excellent time. Uh, we have performed really well. We've run the company as a public company for now three years. We've exceeded even the guidance we went out and gave publicly, as you mentioned, very strong growth. Uh, so we've consulted with our owners and we find it's the right time. The company is doing really well. The markets are receptive and not least, the outlook is really attractive for the company and the market. Talk to us about the dynamics with L'Oreal because this was a joint venture between Nestle and L'Oreal originally. But if I look at parts of your business, in particular Dermo Cosmetics, it feels as though you're pitted directly against L'Oreal. And this is the fast performing part of L'Oreal's business as we talk about performance uh, skincare products. So how does that dynamic play out between your two companies as you come to market? Well, the history is the company was uh, formed as a joint venture in 1981 between L'Oreal and Nestle. Um, today, we are a pure play uh, category leader in dermatology. We have multiple competitors. Uh, one of them is L'Oreal. But if you look at our performance, we've outgrown the market. You mentioned the very strong growth we've had. Uh, if you look from 2019, when we were spun out of Nestle until today, we have had about 11.9% top line growth. The market has had about 7% uh, on a constant basis. So I think we performed really well. We're a category leader. We are in three very attractive segments, uh, injectable aesthetic, dermatological skincare, where we compete with L'Oreal and others and doing really well, and in therapeutic dermatology. So I think we can stand on our own, and we've done that uh, since 2019. And I think a IPO is the next uh, natural step, and we're really strong performing also against these very formidable competitors you mentioned.